Hello and what's oh god. Hello and what's up YouTube? It's Nicole Boo Joa and welcome back to the channel. So let's I have been gone for a long minute. Yes, I do have box braids. Um, I've had them for about like a few weeks now. Um, loving them. It's really easy to like get up and go. They're very low maintenance. Um, really easy to style my hair. But even though this is nice and pretty the way it is, um, just being regular, I wanted to show you guys how I dress up my box braids and make them look a little bit more high-end like me and this is the color 350 um, if you don't know my hair is like a coppery color like a copper red so I got this 350 to match and I feel like it looks pretty damn good if I do say myself myself okay so if you want to see how to dress up your box braids stay tuned I went to the hair store to get more <laughs> um and i saw like a couple of different ones and so i wanted to use both of these first what we're going to be using is some filigree tubes um these ones are a little bit longer than the ones that i've had before but um i literally love these these are so cute and i like the gold i have them also in silver but i'm more of a my skin compliments gold, okay even though i'm wearing silver jewelry and then I also got this like hair decorating beads kit. I'm not gonna use the beads because I'm not a bead person, um, but they do have these rings in here and then this cord. So let's get it popping and let's get it started. So this is what they look like. And like I said, these are a little bit longer um, than normal filigree tubes. They're usually a little bit shorter. Um, but basically all you do is, where is it? You find the opening and you just bend it open and then you just figure out where you want on your braid and then just squeeze it on there that is so cute is it not so basically I'm just gonna go through and put them throughout my hair um, to make it look and I kind of, I like to keep this like side part that I got going on because I just think that that's like the most flattering for me. I don't like doing like a middle part. Look at this. You see? I had silver filigree ones in my hair before. That's what the regular, and this is the one I got. So, let's see. We'll put some. And I'm somebody like, I don't wanna overcrowd, you know, my hair with these, just because, you know, it can, it can look like a lot, you know? But I just kind of, like, space them around and kinda of just put them where I feel like they will look good. Another tip, like, um, you know, once you've had box braids for a little bit, your hair will start to kind of like pop out. Um, and so what I do is basically, I just take a filigree tube and I put it right over that. So you can't even tell anymore. And I just, that's a little hack for you, baby, okay? <laughs> enough of the filigree tubes so that's it for the filigree tubes I kind of have them going all around so basically like the string is pretty long so I'm just gonna like hold it where the half mark would be and then I just take like an accent braid like this one maybe I can even take I'm gonna take 
this one here. And I'll just take this string around, maybe kind of wrap it a couple of times here at the base. Okay. And then we can kind of start going down and doing like a crisscross motion. I feel like that's kind of, I don't want to go all the way down because to me that's kind of a lot, you know, to go all the way down. I think it looks pretty cute like when you just kind of have it just hanging, like going down a certain way or like halfway or three quarters of the way. So I'm just going to tie it a couple of times just to make sure. It's a cow. Yeah. And then I'll just cut T. And then you still have pretty much a substantial amount of string left. So just kind of do that. So now, last but not least, we're going to do some of these little loops. So these, it seems like they're pretty much just like the filigree tubes. They have like a little opening and you can just take them and then I will kind of stick it in and then close it shut. And make a little, it's like a little piercing for your braid. So open. I really like the little loops. They're actually like super cute. I've never tried these before, so it's the first time for everything. So I'm just gonna put it a little up higher. Oh, okay, so now we're done with all of the jewelry. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't wear this much all at once. Um, I just kind of OD'd for the sake of the video, but I mean, I think it's really super cute. I would probably wear like maybe a couple filigree tubes, a couple of hoops, you know, that sort of thing. But the last thing that you need to dress up your box braids or any type of style is edge control. Um, it just always makes your hair just looks so much more neat. Um, so I'm just gonna use the Edge Booster um, from Style Factor. And this one is the Sugar sugar Melon Scent. And it does smell good, I like it a lot. So basically, we see what we're working with with my edges right now. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're just kind of there. So I really just want to define them a little bit more. So I just take my little edge comb brush whatever you want to call it and I just tap it in this edge control um, it's important this edge control can get a little flaky gunky whatever you want to call it so um, I try and make sure that I don't get like a whole bunch um, but then you just take it I kind of like since I grabbed a little bit much but you see what I'm talking about it can get a little white um, but then I just smooth it out and smooth out my hedges.
people forget like their sideburn hair is kind of This is it. That's how I dress up my Crocs braids. Um, I will put the information of the lady who did my box braids down below. Um, if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, definitely go to her. I love her. Um, she did a really good job on my box braids. Um, but yes, this is how you dress up your box braids. I will see you girls in the next video. Smooches!